In this video, we'll learn how to use a cross-team refinement board to visualize dependencies and keep your sanity when you're building complex business applications with multiple Scrum teams working on interdependent features. Hi, I'm Neil Benson from Customer Academy, where we're on a mission to help Microsoft customers and partners like you learn how to use an agile approach to build amazing Dynamics 365 and Power Platform applications. In my last three or four projects, we've implemented enterprise scale Dynamics 365 applications with multiple teams. Sometimes all the teams used Scrum, but sometimes different teams used different approaches because they were from different organizations. One thing all those projects had in common was that each of the delivery teams were dependent on other teams getting some work done in the right sequence. And in my projects, that didn't always go well. Teams would find themselves blocked waiting on another team to finish a feature. Better communication and transparency between the teams would have helped us resequence our work to avoid those dependencies. That's why I want to share with you a concept from the Nexus framework called the Cross Team Refinement Board. Nexus from scrum.org builds upon Scrum's foundation and extends it to help multiple teams work from a single product backlog to build a single product. One of its co-creators is Richard Hundhausen, who's a former Microsoft MVP and regional director. The first step in our cross-team refinement board is to draw a timeline of our upcoming sprints. You could draw them vertically, progressing down, but this isn't TikTok, so my timeline is horizontal. Next, add a swim lane for each team working on your project. These could be internal or external teams. In my most recent project, we had the Dynamics 365 team, the MuleSoft integration team, and the Gen mainframe teams. Yours could be a combination of Microsoft customer and partner teams. You might even have three feature teams all working on different parts of a single complicated Power Apps or Dynamics 365 application. Next, add the features that each team is going to build in the column representing the sprint in which it plans to finish the feature. I messed this up initially, thinking it's the sprint in which we plan to start working on the feature. But if you look at this example, knowing that Cassini is going to start on feature A1 in sprint 12, that doesn't tell Clipper or Europa anything about when A1 will be done. Cassini needs to forecast when they'll complete A1. Next, Clipper adds their features and Europa adds theirs. The teams have already done a dependency analysis. A3 depends upon A2 being done and A2 depends upon A1 being done. Your features won't have names like A1 or R3. Instead, you'll have to analyze your dependencies in Azure DevOps or Jira and link the items together. Once those dependencies have been identified, we can visualize them by connecting them with arrows on our cross-team refinement board. Now we can see that A3 is dependent upon A2 and A2 is dependent upon A1. I've drawn an arrow um, from A1 pointing at A2 because when A1 is done, Clipper is unblocked and can start work on A2. Feature set A looks good. All the arrows point to the right. All three teams are working in the right sequence. There aren't any features dependent upon another feature being finished in the sprint immediately before, so there's even a bit of buffer. Perfect. There's a buffer of two sprints between the features in set B. Longer arrows are even better. R2 is dependent upon Europa completing R1 immediately prior. Short horizontal arrows indicate there's no wiggle room here, but at least R1 and R2 are both within Europa's control, and they're not dependent upon another team. Everyone's still happy so far. But with feature set P, Europa is dependent upon Clipper finishing P1 in the same sprint. Oh, that's awkward. That's too close for comfort for most teams. Clipper and Europa should have a grown-up conversation with the product owner to renegotiate the order of the backlog and resequence P1 and P2. But 
If there's one situation worse than a same sprint dependency, it's a later sprint dependency. Clipper hopes to get C2 done in sprint 14, but it's dependent upon Cassini completing C1. Cassini doesn't think they'll get C1 done until sprint 16. This is next level awkward. If they can't resequence their work to avoid the later sprint dependency, Clipper will probably start work on C2 in sprint 14 until they're blocked by the missing dependency and then pick it up again sometime later when Cassini unblocks him around sprint 16 or perhaps later. My teams have had to do that by locking API results based on the contract and then unlocking those API requests later once the API is available. And we have to hope that the contract hasn't changed in the meantime. It's not a situation you want to find yourself in. Clipper and Europa need to sit down with the product owner and perform tantric meditation or whatever it takes to change the order of the backlog so that they can turn the red arrow to green and point it in the other direction. Your teams might find it useful to maintain a cross-team refinement board like this, showing all of the features, their planned completion sprints and dependencies. Update the board each sprint as things change during sprint planning and your sprint reviews so that there's transparency across the state of everyone's work and your product owner can maintain her sanity. On my current project, we have a monthly flight planning meeting with everyone from all the teams invited to gather around our cross-team refinement board. We call it the flight plan. And we review our joint progress, update the board, and identify any significant changes in dependent features. I'd love to know if there are standard reports or charts for visualizing the cross-team refinement board in popular backlog management tools like Azure DevOps or Jira, but I haven't come across any yet. If you're aware of any, I'd love to know, please add a comment below. If you've enjoyed this video, please stick around and enjoy the other videos here on the Customary Academy channel. I'll see you next time. Until then, keep sprinting.